Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn your footage from looking like this into something like this creating this crazy spotlight effect. Now just quickly before we hop into this, if you guys are looking for a quick and easy way to level up your edits, my website is the place to go. We've got tons of editing packs on there specifically made to help you save time on your edits and give you those fire looks. I highly recommend you guys go check it out as it supports the channel and allows me to upload these videos every day. But let's hop right into this. So we have this clip right here of Lucky. We're gonna hold Alt on our keyboard and drag the clip up so we have two of them here. We're gonna go over to our effect controls and then on opacity right here, we're gonna click on the circle right here. Now once we have the circle created here, we're just gonna align it to the way we want and put it on top of Lucky there. Now, if we turn off the bottom layer here by clicking on it and pressing E, you can see that the top layer has a circle around it and that's all that is in focus there. Now, if we play it through, as you can see, Lucky kind of goes off frame there. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure you keyframe the mask path and then go to the very end as well and then click on the mask and then just bring it to where he is, just like that. And it's going to follow him just like so. And if you do want to make the mask bigger as well, I don't recommend playing around with it here. I recommend going over to mask expansion here and then just turning it up just like this. Now, that's a cool look there. But to make it look even cleaner, I recommend going ahead and turning up the mask feather as well, because that really just gives it the extra little bit of a spotlight effect there. Now, if you do want to go ahead and turn on the background layer, as you can see, it looks weird, right? So I recommend going over to Lumetri Color, and then going over and turning your contrast all the way up, and then turning your exposure down as well. So that car is still going to be there, but what's going to happen is it's barely visible, so it creates this kind of like spotlight effect here on Lucky. You can also go ahead and turn the whites down and the blacks down. The car is kind of there in the background, like the background is there, you can obviously see it, but... Lucky is obviously in main focus. He's the spotlight right now. And we can make this effect a lot more prominent by going in and playing with the mask feather a little bit more. Then to add a little bit more life to it and make it a lot more visible, we're going to go ahead and apply Sapphire Flicker onto it. And once Sapphire Flicker is on there, we can play it through and you guys can see it's flickering. You can go ahead and play with the amplitude and the random frequencies to get it to your liking. Hey guys, so my camera died while recording this. Uh, just make sure you add black and white to it to really get that look and you can boost the highlights to really give it that glowing look. So if you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and want to see more videos just like it, I recommend subscribing because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. Also, go check out the editing packs. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.